Mbira zinori zwa mnika zakawana mu Afrika. Asimuno mzimba kuenduma zinonya nyori zwa. I think anybody who's had more than five minutes from Zimbabwe and Bira cannot forget the sound. To me, it's a cross between water and air. And Bira is basically a piece of wood, a board, a sound board with keys on it. And you basically play it with your two thumbs and with your little finger. I guess the most skilled thing on this is to have the right knot in the right symmetry. My name is Alva Chimeza, and we're at the Mbira Center in Harare. We make mbiras and we're engaged in development. It's such a beautiful instrument that would be nice to share it with the world. More than 1,000 years old. There's a whole family of thumb piano type instruments. It's something that's sort of familiar to a lot of people as just sort of African music. So I was curious, what are the origins? Where did this come from? I'm Jonathan Schneer. I'm an engineer on the Doodle team. I'm the lead engineer on this project. I'm originally South African. My family's South African. And so I started researching thumb piano instruments, pitched it to the team, and we sort of traced it back down to Zimbabwe and the Mbira and really focused in on that. This seemed like a wonderful opportunity to really show the journey of the Mbira from concert and ceremonies, really understand how people use it. So here we are doing more research on the project. My name is Helen Leroux. I am an artist on the Doodle team. I'm in charge of finding style, illustrative style animation to create an interactive Doodle. For this Doodle, we really wanted to give people a chance to really play the instrument and pepper the music in with little ways to interact with all the parts of the story and make more of a narrative that people can see how it's used, the culture, what's the story of this instrument and the people. It was all about sketching rich patterns that we find here, animals, people, all these visuals that we want to bring together for the Doodles. <laughs> We thought it was important partnering with musicians and artists and people here. We're not experts, we're really learning on the process. We're just absorbing it all. You know, for a while, the Mbira was forbidden, it was suppressed. So a lot of this is about letting it grow again and preserving it. <laughs> When people see this doodle, I hope that they can get some piece of the experience that we've had here to feel the music and the sense of community that really comes out of the Mbira. I'm interested in what other people can bring to the Mbira, both the physical instrument and on a digital level. It can be a vehicle for communicating, for a better understanding of other people and other cultures. Thank you.